it's Ryan and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a pumpkin pie. I've got a very large pumpkin here that my great uncle brought us a few days ago. And I'm not going to be cooking with it because trying to cook with something this big and heavy is absolutely insane. Also I'd end up with about 50 pumpkin pies. No, today we are going to be using this one which is considerably smaller and much easier to handle. Also, I will leave all the recipe quantities in the description. So if you want to try making this pie as well, and I would recommend it, it's a great pie, then yes, in the description, recipe quantities. To start off, you are going to need to chop and peel your pumpkin. Now depending on how thick the skin of your pumpkin is, this can be quite difficult. It took me about three quarters of an hour to cut and then about another half hour to peel my pumpkin, so don't feel bad if it takes you a little while. Now just to be clear, this recipe is not for beginners. It is quite advanced and it will take quite a while to do, so be prepared. Also, you will have cramping hands throughout this entire process. So, be warned. When cutting your pumpkin, make sure to remove all of the gunk and seeds on the inside and put it aside. Next, find as big of a pot as you can and put your pumpkin in it. Then, cover the pumpkin with water and bring it up to a boil. Then, leave it to simmer for 15 minutes. Next we are going to make the pastry. To start off, mix together the flour, salt, sugar and cinnamon. Then rub in the room temperature batter until it looks like fine breadcrumbs. Next add cold water, only one or two tablespoons at a time, and knead your dough until it holds together. Finally, put your pastry in the fridge and wait until it's cool. Once your pastry is cooled, roll it out and then wrap it around your rolling pin. This makes it easier to put it on top of your tin. Then, carefully fill your baking tray, trying to keep your pastry as even as possible. You can cut off the edges and use the offcuts to fix any small holes in the pastry. Make sure your pastry is just wrapped around the edges of the tin and that your pastry is evenly fitted around the tin without any air bubbles. Next, place a piece of baking paper over the pie tin and fill it up with baking beans. I didn't have any baking beans, so I'm using lentils, but baking beans are best. Next, place your pastry in the oven at 180 degrees for 10 minutes. Then take it out of the oven and remove the baking beans and the baking paper and then put it back in for a further 15 minutes. In between the two bakings you can use your extra pastry to fill in any holes that might have developed in the baked pastry. Then take the pie crust out and leave it to cool. Next we need to work on the filling. Take your pumpkin off the stove and leave it to cool. Once your pumpkin is cool, try and push the chunks through a sieve. Your pumpkin should be tender and not too hard. The pumpkin coming through the sieve should be a nice puree and you will be left with a thick stodge in the sieve. You need to remove this and continue to push the rest of the pumpkin through the sieve.
Mix together the sugar, salt, nutmeg and cinnamon. Once combined, mix in the eggs, melted butter and milk. Then finally mix in the pumpkin puree. The filling is now ready and you can pour it into your tart dish. pie, make sure to increase the oven temperature to 220 degrees Celsius. Then, after 10 minutes, you can turn it back down to 180 and bake for a further 35 to 40 minutes. Once your pie comes out of the oven, sieve on some icing sugar, leave to cool, and then your pie is ready to serve.